ग्रेड टेन साइंस यूनिट सेवन यूनिट सेवन इज क्वांटिफिकेशन ऑफ एलिमेंट्स एंड कंपाउंड्स नाउ वी हैव डन वन वीडियो अंडर दिस टॉपिक इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वीडियो वन I tried to explain you about isotopes because you have to use this term C12 isotope. So in this lesson, that is why I explain about isotopes in our video one. This is the video two of unit seven. From this video, I am going to explain you about the relative atomic mass, relative atomic mass of an element. We use relative masses. because masses of atoms actually very small mass of an atom is actually very small so therefore uh, if you express the masses of atoms of different elements in grams i give you some examples mass of an atom of carbon 1.99 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 23 grams. Mass of an atom of oxygen 2.66 into 10 to the power minus 23 grams. Mass of an atom of sodium 3.82 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 23 grams so these are very small values so you can actually you can use these values in calculations so that is why we need relative atomic masses relative molecular masses so here we use a standard mass for atomic mass actually standard unit for atomic mass is taken actually 112 of the mass of an atom of carbon c12 is used as the standard you have to compare the masses of different atoms of different elements with this when you for example compare the mass of an atom of say oxygen mass of an atom of oxygen is 2.66 into 10 to the power minus 23 grams now divide this by the mass of divide this by 1/12th of the mass of c12 atom mass of c12 atom or c12 isotope is this that is 1.99 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 23 grams so 1/12th of this is the standard atomic mass unit this is the standard atomic mass unit divide mass of an atom of the relevant element by this atomic mass unit then you will get the relative atomic mass of that element now for an example we will take 
oxygen mass of pen atom of mass of pen atom of oxygen is 2.66 into 10 to the power minus 23 grams mass of an atom of C12 mass of C12 atom is 1.99 into 10 to the power minus 23 grams one twelfth of this is the standard atomic mass unit therefore divide this by this that is mass of an atom of the relevant element by one twelfth of the mass of at mass of an atom of C12 or mass of pen C12 mass of an atom of C12 then you will get the relative atomic mass of the relevant element when you calculate this you will get 16 as the answer that is relative atomic mass of oxygen is 16 which means mass of an atom of oxygen is mass of an atom of oxygen is 16 times as that of the atomic mass unit that is mass of an atom of oxygen is 16 times as 1 12 of the C12 isotope so this is the relative atomic mass of oxygen now we will take relative atomic mass of sodium we will calculate and see mass of an atom of sodium is 3.82 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 23 grams divide this by the atomic mass unit atomic mass unit is 1 12 1 12 of the mass of C12 atom when we divide this by this we will get 23 as the answer that is relative atomic mass of sodium is 23 uh, if you calculate this for sulfur you will get 32 for magnesium it is 24 so these are relative atomic masses of this element now I'll give you some relative atomic masses of some elements hydrogen 1 carbon 12 Nitrogen 14, oxygen 16, sodium 23, magnesium 24, aluminium 27, phosphorus 31, sulfur 32, chlorine 35.5, K4 potassium 39, calcium 40, manganese 55 iron if we fill them 56 copper 63.4 C.5 is it then sink 65.4 these are some relative atomic masses from some elements using this you can calculate relative molecular masses and formula masses also now now this is about relative atomic mass of element relative atomic mass can be calculated by dividing the mass of 
an atom, mass of an atom of the relevant element by by the mass of an atom of the relevant element by the atomic mass unit which is one twelfth of the mass of C12 isotope or C12 atom. You can calculate, you can calculate the relative atomic mass of an element by dividing the mass of an atom of the relevant element by one twelfth of the mass of C12 atom, which is the which is the atomic mass unit AMU from next video. That is video 3. We will discuss about relative molecular mass of elements and compounds.